show you the entire installation process and the removal of RAM for your 2010 model of the 21.5 iMac. Alright, so I'm going to be really straightforward and, you know, it's easy. Uh, let's just get to it and I'll show you how to do it. So the first step to removing or installing RAM, or both, is to unplug your iMac and then you want to set it up like this, with the screen up. You can set it up uh, upside down if you want, but you know you will have to reorientate the memory card when we get to that step. So I suggest setting it up like this. Now, you're going to look at the bottom and see these three screws. Just take a normal Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew all three of these. So once you get this plate off right here, what you're going to want to do is set it aside. And then you're revealed the memory cards. Now what it's going to you're going to see at least these bottom ones filled, okay? These are the Apple installed memory cards. We um you know, I installed these two before the video just to make sure it works and everything, obviously. So how would I remove a card? Well, what you do, you see these black tabs. They're going to be, let me focus this. They're going to be tucked, um, you know, in here, kind of over the cards. What you're going to do is you're going to pull those out and pull firmly on these. Pull it pretty hard, actually. Don't be scared of breaking it, but obviously you know, gradually increase your force until they come out. And out pop the memory cards. As you see, we can remove it. Uh, this is the Apple one. Here you go. And as you see, they use a Samsung card. Um, I may have to blur that, I'm not sure. Anyway, here's another one. And this one, I bought uh, in a store for, you know, pretty cheaply. And I will sell them. Uh, let me show you the package real quick. So just for your information, um, if you're interested, I'm selling some crucial cards. And they're 4 gigabyte DDRL3, DDR3L. And they're actually uh, 1600, not 1333 which this Mac takes. But luckily, Apple Mac computers are pretty um, flexible with the hardware. And you could actually put this in here, and it will perform at the slower 1333 speed. So this fit is a little tighter, but I mean, it works perfectly. See, it comes straight out. And as you see, this is the crucial one. So how do we install these? Well, what you do, we're going to uh, just for consistency and the way that they were already installed it was you know the Apple one was on the bottom which they use Samsung cards and the top is the uh, the expandable ones you know later I'm testing out these crucial cards right now seeing if I have any problems uh, if not I'm definitely going to um, you know I'm definitely going to uh, replace these two gigabyte cards with these four gigabytes now, here's a very important note. So, we pulled the tab to remove them, right? Well, I made a mistake, you know. Which orientation does it go in now? Does it go in this way? Does it go in this way? This way, right? So what you do, we could either pull out these and then check the orientation, but uh, really, you see these uh, pins right here. Those go towards, the, towards where you pl plug it in. And then you flip it upside down and have, uh, you see the shorter side of pins, the shorter half is on the left. And that is uh, how we are going to install it, just like this, upside down with the short side on the left. That's why I said to make sure your Mac is orient orientated this way. And all we do is, you see there's two slots, we're going to just slide it in. And it's kind of in there, but as you see, it kind of sticks out. You see, 
this isn't the best lighting, but it kind of sticks out. And it took me a while to figure this out, but you just kind of push pretty hard, actually. A lot harder than you would think you would have to push for hardware. For, an, for a hardware installation. And it goes right in. Uh, you should hear a little click. So let me do that right now. There we go. Just plugs it in. You're going to want to use two fingers on both sides. And that is how you uh, remove and install hardware. Same with this one. You're going to flip it upside down with the tag on the bottom and the left left side of the short side on the left. And we're going to plug this one in. Same thing. You just kind of slide it in. And when it gets here, you want to wait till you hear the click. So there we go. Kind of got to push pretty hard. And uh, this side I'm just going to leave alone. Uh, and then we're going to tuck in the tags again. And, uh, whoops. And if I can tuck this under, that is all. We, took, we removed it, we reinstalled it. Now we're going to put this plate back on. So that is how you uh, remove and install RAM uh, on your iMac. This is the 2010 version, uh, but if you, uh, you know, your Mac has that panel on the bottom, this is going to work great. And it will also give you an idea of how to install um, on other models as well. Kind of got to push pretty firm, firmly, and those tabs really do help to remove those, uh, you know, wedged in memory cards. So that's it. If you're interested in these, they run for uh, $50, but I am selling them for, um, I guess I'll sell them for 25 or 30 bucks. Hit me up and uh, just put a comment down. I reply to all comments. Uh, even if I don't see them, you know, I might reply later on. <laughs> I'll reply to everyone, uh, or at least give you a thumbs up or something, you know, let you know that I saw your comment. So thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.